All right, uh, I got something in the mail today, and my uh, my bench is full, so I'm gonna have to do uh, do it over here on the chair. So I don't do many unboxing videos, but I thought this would be a good one. Um, I've been looking for a donor microphone because I'm working on uh, working on microphone circuits, and I needed a donor body. So a lot of people buy these um, microphones, throw away the insides, and and put new guts in them. So I bought one. It was $19, free shipping. Um, and so let's see what you get here. It says, Legendary Vocal Condenser Microphone, Legendary New Series, Professional Studio, Voice in Everywhere. Voice in Everywhere. I'm not sure about that. Might be Chinglish. Um, okay. Oh, let's see here. What's anything on? No, nothing. Nothing else. Every, artwork's the same everywhere. Uh, okay, what's in the box? Uh, we get some paperwork. Broadcasting and recording microphone. Looks like a very, very flat response. I don't know if you can, is the camera going to focus on that? Mm, sort of. Very flat response. Cardioid uh, radiation pattern. What's it say here? 20 to 20 kilohertz, output 150 ohms, blah, 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 blah. Uh, signal noise 87, 78, so that's not very good. Um, okay. And what do we get? Oh, we get a uh, pop filter, piece of foam. And we get a interesting cable, which couldn't do anything. It's a... Uh, goes to three and a half and this requires phantom power I'm sure so you'd have to have a box that created the phantom power that you'd plug this into so can't use it just right into the microphone but maybe I can repurpose the cable for something else and here it is it is the BM 800 BM 800 Ooh. it's very shiny and seems like a metal grill it's not plastic Looks like a double, double layer. Looks like there's a fine mesh, and a, and a hard one on the outside. It's got the XLR cable on the, uh, on the bottom. That works, and uh, the pop filter. So I guess that works, um, and a shock mount. What the shock mount looks like. There we go. It's kind of like got the spongy thing in here. Got the little rubber, kind of like the hair bands. <laughs> if, you, if your wife puts her hair back. That's it though. And uh, not quite sure how you open these. There we go screw from the bottom and this comes off and that comes off and there we go it looks like a BM800 circuit yes indeed yes indeed they put the capacitors on the top a lot of times they put the capacitors on the bottom and sometimes they put a dummy board on the other side just for looks um, but yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I need. So stay tuned. We'll do something with this thing. Yeah, I'll have to uh, plug it in, see if it makes any sound or records any sound. Well, I bought the uh, the BM800 to tear it apart and just use the, <laughs> the external part and throw away the internal part wanted a donor body so you can see uh, my current microphone body is uh, <laughs> a piece of an old um, power supply that I bent into a, a tube and taped up with some uh, copper tape so should be nicer in this uh, nice shiny gold uh, microphone case so if we take apart the BM 800 um, it looks exactly like the parts that I bought off of eBay. Same stuff. I mean, all these microphones are all exactly the same inside. They have the little electric uh, condenser microphone uh, 
element and the little um, PC board with the uh, with the uh, old um, German circuit and uh, one of my viewers corrected my pronunciation of that. It's more like Schwupps. Um, and uh, the O and the E kind of combine to be an umlaut to O sound. So that does help, although my German is not, uh, uh, not very good. So, so if we uh, take things apart, uh, here are all, all the components disassembled and ready to start putting in uh, the parts that I want to, uh, want to add. So some people buy $15 microphones and convert them into $50 microphones. Some people take $50 microphones and convert them into, you know, $100 microphones. Some people take $100 microphones and convert them into a couple hundred dollar microphones anyway. Um, it was told to me that this large diameter um, uh, condenser assembly was out of an MXL 2006. Now I looked at it and I'm not quite sure I believe that. It might have been an, an MXL brand microphone but um, not that particular model number. Anyway, I'm not sure. Um, but it is a, it is a true, um, you know, high voltage, large diameter uh, element, um, single-sided, not, not, not double-sided. Um, so it's just a cardioid pattern, not, not switchable. Uh, it does have a nice amplifier um, circuit. Uh, has a, uh, a one gig ohm resistor feeding the high voltage and a one gig ohm resistor self-biasing the, the FET, the JFET on the input. Um, so it does look, uh, it does look like a reasonable circuit. Um, I don't know about its noise performance. It certainly has fairly fairly cheap components. So this is what it looked like after I had to modify a few things to put it together. Um, the PC board didn't have the right hole locations to mount to the um, metal substructure. Uh, so I had to drill and tap um, a hole in the, in the structure to hold the PC board. And I had to drill a hole in the PC board to match that hole. And uh, that's the way that the circuit board gets electrical ground contact to the metal chassis is through that screw. So I had to scrape away the, um, the solder mask to make sure we had good electrical connection there. Um, and then the, um, the condenser element is on a, um, a holder, it's a, it's a post. It's a nice element to, uh, holder too. It, it, it actually, the post, it isn't plastic to metal or it's actually, there's a metal post and then it goes into a rubberized piece um, to the plastic flange to eliminate um, handling noise or, or, or vibration and stuff. So it was actually constructed fairly well. So anyway, it's ready to go inside the, uh, inside the external part. And I quickly found out that the um, shielded cage of mesh that goes over the um, condenser element wouldn't fit. <laughs> the flange is much larger than the small little flange of the electric microphone element. Flange is much larger. So I needed to open up the um, the metal on, on, on that part. And so I put it into my mill. Um, uh, here I am zeroing it in. Then I'm gonna mill that hole out to a, uh, to a larger diameter so it fits. And here's my handiwork. Uh, I've created a, a hole in the, uh, in the top so the flange will fit. And um, preserving one threaded hole <laughs> so at least I have one, one there used to be two threaded holes and I, I needed to open it up larger than that so I preserved one threaded hole and now it fits uh, so that's that's good and finally uh, here it is all put together in its uh, 
with its uh, windscreen on and in, in its uh, vibration mount and ready to do some um, audio tests, some vocal tests, and uh, I've posted those in a, in a separate video.